common ways you get ripped off in the Philippines. Bear in mind, some of these are so petty that I don't even bother with them. First one is overcharging with taxis. That does bug me because they're normally not trying to overcharge a little bit, but maybe even three times the rate. Uh, but we've got that same issue in Spain, and London even does that. Um, the next one would be the same, but with vendors along the street, and sometimes you'll get the odd person do it relating to the government. But personally, I do not give out any donations or contributions or have you got something for me i just give them a blank look as if like what are you talking about and just stand there and say nothing till they move on to the next question um the next one i would say is double receipts if you get somebody doing your construction work for example they can get a different receipt from the builder's merchant so say the cement's 200 pesos a sack and they get 10 sacks they actually might give you receipts for 280 and pocket 80 uh, pesos in every bag that is pretty common uk does it though builders do it um even facilities management companies do it there's kickbacks and all sorts so it's normal but at the same time it's people ripping you off because you're unaware that they've done it to you because if you went yourself you would have got the, the lower rate um People lying about the expenses of things. Uh, for example, if you had somebody that's coming to work for you and they say it's going to cost them 100 pesos a day to get to work and it really only cost them 20. doesn't sound a lot, but it soon adds up. And the fact is they've already damaged your trust with them because you know they're lying. Um, builders being lazy frustrates me. I, I'll be honest with you, it frustrates me because you're creating work for them and you'll get one guy painting and the other guy sat there i've had them before turn up one turn up with a camp bed before and um, one guy sitting there reading the paper and smoking his fag and the other guy's doing the work they only last a couple of days the worst culprits of those are family members by the way because if you've got a family member that brings in their cousins or whatever they've got a comfortable environment don't want really to upset the family members you know that sort of thing to hell with that those guys were out of there as soon as I could. I got them to do the inside, and once they'd finished the one job that they wanted, I didn't let them have the rest. I just said, forget it, don't need it, thank you very much, off you go. Uh, because with family, it's a bit more awkward kicking them out. Um, what else could there be? Uh, overcharging on rents. You'll get people spike rents up. I've had it with me. We were initially... Uh, about the, the the joke being is that as soon as you walk away and go I'm not interested they will then just drop it down because they're then realizing that you're walking away that's it not interested um, so that can work in your favor uh, just be aware of how much things cost it's as simple as that um, also, people going back on deals. I've had it where I rented a place. It's costing 5,000 pesos a month, and it, the 5,000 was supposed to go towards some renovations on another building. That's why we agreed to the rent. Um, they then just pocketed the 5,000 and didn't do the renovations. The same went for another project where we were supposed to develop a store, etc. And they're like, oh, well, we'll decide where we spend. I'll tell you, I've got a better idea than you deciding where you spend my money. I just don't give you any. And that's what happens, and then you get all that, all the disputes. So like suddenly, I've just taken away about hundred thousand pesos from the table. It's like, I don't care. I'll I'll put the money back in the bank. I don't care, um, because you've got to be aware. Some people don't know when things are good for them, and other people are trying to help them out. Culturally, it can be seen as a weakness that you're actually the nice person. There was a funny thing that somebody said to me related to charities that when it's a foreigner we give the money and when it's local people give it run an event for themselves and i think that's pretty close because it's a bit like the barangay events i know several people that run them and you will find they go shopping a couple of days after the event because the amount of money they pocketed um <laughs> i'm not getting into the politics of it but the reality is people don't do a lot for free um it's annoying and frustrating and it is robbing the community of money that actually belongs to the community because it's all donations and sponsorship uh, you know like for a kids pageant and stuff like that it's money that 
people have paid. I mean, I, I pay towards pageants and things in the community, in the disco and things, because it's my community. But I don't expect the organiser to actually pocket half the money, sometimes more. Uh, but those are the things that frustrate me, and this has all come from watching Christopher Lane's video, uh, which is, Who Can You Trust in the Philippines? Thanks for watching.